older, yeah I knew my destiny since I was young So I knew that my mom made a soldier, yeah Tap in Come tap in Tap in I don't hear all of the talking Cause I just be working I'm trying to get to this bag I see these dudes and they move like they don't got no purpose So they all still living bad I make decisions, up, that's gonna raise the quota You live a life that's just above the water the phone number we gonna have this conversation. Chicken system, Motorola. Now let's keep coming as I'm getting older. Yeah, I know my destiny since I was young, so I knew that my mom made a soldier. Yeah, I know some people throw stones, but then they get mad when you throw back a folder. We're going to get right into this, actually. So go ahead, drop a like, share the stream, get some people involved in this conversation. Lowski, why do you decide to tell men that they on their own and no one cares? I'm going to explain why. Because if you a grown ass man and you live at home with your mama, you a bum ass nigga. If you a female and you a grown ass woman and you live at home with your mama, you just going through hard times. If you become homeless as a man, there's nowhere for you to go. You will be in a tent on the street or standing on a corner with a sign asking to dance for money. No one's going to shelter you. No one's going to put you in a home. Ain't no woman coming to save you. Ain't your auntie not letting you sleep on the couch. Your mama don't want you back at her house because she got a man and he don't want you back. If you are a man, you are 100% on your own. And niggas is fucking up by listening to people tell them, no, you're not. There's people that care about you. They bro, bro, you're going to have to deal with those problems on your own. How many women have you heard say, I don't want a nigga moving into me. I don't fuck with homeless niggas. How many niggas have you heard say they don't fuck with homeless women? None. None. Because they're not on their own. They got backup. If they can't afford a child, they get DSS. If you can't afford a child, your ass going to prison. You're on your own. If you can't get a job and be productive, you will not get a woman. If she can't get a job and be productive, she can still become a mother to children and still become somebody's wife. You are on your own. But the second you realize it, everything starts to make more sense. Everything starts to make more sense. That means I got to fight to the finish line. That means I can't play no games with this shit. That means I have to be very decisive about my moves. And nothing is more attractive to a woman than a decisive nigga. If she don't know what she want for lunch and you don't know what you want for lunch, what the fuck are y'all doing together? Somebody got to make the decision. If you don't know which way to go and she don't know which way to go and you're an undecisive male, you're not going to you're going to lead her in the wrong direction. You lead her in the wrong direction. You fucking a family up. You fucking a generation. You fucking a bloodline up. If the man is the leader and he walks at the front by himself. If a man is a leader and he walks at the front by himself, then, then who the fuck is then who the fuck got him? He got himself. Deal with it, man. It's cool. Find a way to get to the gym and vent. Find the standing punching bag and be able to let some of that energy out. Find some guys that have probably been through the same thing that you've been through. Ask them how they were able to get through it. Find a circle of great guys and ask them how they were able to get through it. But you are on your own. If you become homeless, there's no homeless shelter for men. You will be in a tent on the fucking street or asking somebody for money. If you can't take care of your children as a man, you will go to prison. If she can't take Take care of her children as a woman they got 15 different fucking programs for her facts facts if you are an unproductive male you will get no woman if you are an unproductive female there are niggas that will still take you they are not on their own the same way that we are on our own but if you embrace the fact that you know you're gonna have to do this whether you have a girl whether you don't have a girl by the time that you get a wife you're able to be exactly what she needs you to be you're a very decisive male you're, you're able to show good leadership. You're able to map out good plans. You're able to show the children in the right direction. You're able to do all of that as soon as you accept that I got to do this. I got to live this. I have to live this. Again, there's always going to be the people that say, men, do, do you know the homeless population of men versus the homeless population of women? Considering that uh, there's about two million extra black women and black men. How many how many homeless men are there to homeless women? Because they don't allow women to be homeless. You think niggas is sleeping in parks and on benches and in front of corner stores because they want to? That's that's what y'all think. You think guys are standing there holding notes because they want to? It's because they have no help. They have no help. That means you have to grind, bro. That means if you decide, if you lost your job this week, you need to put 30 applications in before the end of this fucking week because no one's coming to save you.
No one's coming to save you. A girl can post a picture of her ass cheeks and 60 niggas will pay her rent. You ain't got nothing to be able to do that with. She could post her toes on OnlyFans and become a millionaire. You're not going to be able to show no wee wee and get that, bro. You as a man are going to have to decide to do this on your own. You're going to have to link up with some niggas that don't allow you to fall. My homies don't allow me to slip. They don't allow me to slip. And the reason that I won't bring this to my wife, the reason that I won't show these problems to my wife, the reason I won't go and talk to her about these problems is because it's none of her fucking business. It's none of her business. I need her to be as happy as possible, taking care of those children with no stress on her shoulders. I don't need her dealing with those problems. I got this. Let me slay the dragon. Let me slay the dragon. I got the sword. Let me slay the fucking dragon. I got this. I don't I don't need nobody's help when it comes to that. I'm trying to give men that same hunger. I want you to have that same fucking hunger. But you only have it when you know you don't have a fucking safety net. People that was born with a silver spoon in their mouth, they got that safety net of their mommy and daddy being able, they are fuck ups in life. Fuck ups in life because they know that they could go back and get some kind of help. As soon as you realize, pull the safety net from yourself, my nigga. I guarantee you, you walk a whole different path if you know the second you get off this motherfucker, it's over. And for a man that is true, if you can't control your emotions and you decide to talk to another man in the wrong way, your life is over. You are done. If you can't control your emotions and learn how to tame that anger, if you if you internally don't do that shit, that shit can cost you your life. These are facts. You got to grind from sunup to sundown every single day. You have to know that if something goes wrong, I don't have a backup plan because you don't. If you have children and you losing your job, bro, you need to be getting another job immediately because it will cost you prison time. If she loses her job with them same kids, she's not looking at prison time. She's looking at extra food stamps. She's looking at her rent being paid. You're not getting that. You're not getting that. What backup are you getting? Auntie gonna let you stay on the couch for a minimum, a maximum of three days. She can go back with her mama forever. Forever. No one says anything about a grown ass woman still being at home with her mama, but a grown ass man still being at home with his mama is going to be a major issue. It's going to be a major issue. Facts. All the men know that I'm telling the truth about this shit. Deep down, y'all know that y'all are on your fucking own and it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's something you need to embrace as a man. You are on your own. Learn to live with it. Learn to use that energy and put it towards something positive. Like, fuck it, I'm on my own. That means I got to have a disgusting level of effort and dedication. And then I got to realize how competitive it is out here against niggas like me. Because some of you niggas are not going to last anywhere in the field next to a nigga like me. You're not. You're not going to last in the field next to niggas like me. I'm going to outwork you. I'm going to out earn you. Because I'm thinking I'm all I got. If I lose this job, who's providing for the family? If I decide to slip, who's providing for my family? If I don't keep my emotions intact and I wind up getting killed by a nigga out here because I don't know how to conduct myself, who's taking care of my family? No one. No, this is 100% on me. I have to make sure I do this. That's the whole point of men being leaders. It's on you. The president make a fucked up decision right now. The United States going to pay for it. Facts. You are the president of your household. You slip, bro. It's over. It's all, and you taking your whole family down with you. You got to realize that. If the man sinks, you sink the family. If you wind up catching a bid and having to disappear for five, six years, you sink the family. Children without a father in the household lead in every negative statistic you can fucking think of. Every statistic. And this don't, this ain't single fathers. This is, this is moms being home with the children with no father around. Lead in every negative statistic you can think of. Name it, they lead in it. Those kids that grow up without a father. And most of the time they grow up without a father because you ain't got no discipline. Your emotions ain't intact. Who the fuck got you moving like this? You out here listening to women telling you to express yourself. But what they don't know is men's definition of expressing themselves is very different than a woman's definition of expressing themselves. You women can argue for three, four hours at a time and be perfectly okay with it. 
Men ain't arguing. You will die. You got to live in a whole different world. And you know this. Now the question is, what do you do with it? What do you do with it? You put it towards something productive. You know you get a disgusting, I always tell you guys this, get a disgusting addiction to something that is positive to you. Disgusting. The whole world is blocked out because you have tunnel vision about this one thing that you want to do. The richest men come from the niggas who spend 40 years of their life living on two hours of sleep every night, burning themselves completely out at one thing. That engineer burned himself out on one thing. That lawyer burned himself out one thing. That doctor burned himself out one thing. Those are the those are the dedicated men. Those are the strong men. Those are the men you need to strive to be like. And if you ask them how they did it, they said they fought the demons alone. You got and, and, and then it's crazy because people will say that I need to heal, but if I'm trying to tell men to heal, it's an issue. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? That when I'm trying to tell men how to heal that feeling that they have, because all men have it. I don't care how much you girls think that you're going to be a support system for a man. I don't know. I don't care how much you guys think that that is that fanciful fucking Disney World imagination that y'all get to live in. That is nice. Everything is glitz and glamours and daisies and, and, and fruit pies for you guys. That's not how men live. This is an internal feeling that all men know that you have to do this shit on your own. If your niece and your nephew wind up in a bad situation, your niece gonna find a place to go, no problem. The nephew's gonna have issues. Men, have y'all ever lost y'all home and not and not had nowhere to go? I guarantee you plenty of men have left their home and not had a place to go. I don't know very many women that had to sleep on park benches for, for two or three years trying to get their shit together. Because men will even marry a homeless woman. If she look good enough and could work with you, men will take a homeless woman. Ain't nobody taking a homeless man. Y'all say it on y'all posts. Y'all talk about it all the time when y'all have to describe dusty niggas. Homeless is one of them. It's right there. Homeless is one of them. You know why he's homeless? Because he thought he had a support system. He thought he had a team. He didn't think to himself that he's all he has. And he winded up in a fucked up ass position. When, when they should have listened to me when I said that you are all you got. If you lose your job, my nigga, and you can't provide for your woman no more, am I lying that you are on a ticking time clock with her? Is the shot clock now running the second you lose your job and can't provide for a woman no more? All you niggas know it. Y'all know it's the truth. You women say it all the time. You can't deal with no bum ass nigga. Y'all say it all the time. You can't deal with niggas who's in and out of a job. Those are the niggas that's in their feelings. They in and out of a job because they keep getting an attitude with the boss. They keep losing their job because they lazy and won't show up on time. They keep losing their job because women take care of simp ass Negroes. They keep losing their job because it is safety net of them not thinking that they are on their own. It is strong for a man to think that he's on his own. That, that is a positive thing right there. He works 10 times harder when he knows that there's no backup for this shit. If I fuck up, that's it. I'm done. Finito. That's how I think about everything. I tackle everything with that mindset. Ain't nobody about to help me with this shit. Ain't nobody about to help me with this. All the other men realize this. They're doing great. They're doing great. Go ask Mexican men. Who's your support system? They'll fucking laugh at you. Go ask Italian men. Who's your support system? They'll fucking laugh at you. It's only black men who they trying to weaken and dull down and it's toxic for us to sound like me and, and, and it's not okay to embrace the, the things that men actually know. Men, deep down, you know, you know that you are on your own. You know this. You know, that's why men be so worried when they got to lose a job. If women lose a job, it's just like, man, fuck that job, especially if you got a man. But if a man got a woman, he is pressured to not lose that job. Pressured not to lose that job. You feel me? And they should be. And they should be. Because ain't nobody coming to save you. If you wind up homeless, nigga, you're done. You're done. Your woman could be abusing you. There's no, there's no men's abuse shelter. None. You get kicked out your house today, nigga, you don't have nowhere to go. You're done. Men know this. Y'all know this. Your girl get an attitude and kick you out the house. Where you going? All you have is you. And that's okay because it makes you work harder. You won't lose that job if you know all you got is you.
You won't talk to your boss all types of sideways when you know all you got is you. You won't talk to that nigga at the corner store that you know is crazy, that been shooting the block up for five years. You won't, you, you, you won't talk to that nigga a certain way when you know all you got is you. You wind up getting shot and lose your fucking job, nigga. You're done. You're done. Take you a year to recover, nigga. You done. Who gonna take care of you in the meantime? Not everybody has a wife. Not everybody has a girl. Most men have them. Most men have them. They got an air mattress, a fucking TV, and a PlayStation 5. And possibly a dog. Why y'all think dogs are man's best friend? Because niggas be lonely as shit. <laughs> even, yo, even when men get in relationships, him and that dog is fucking inseparable. Because that dog know at the end of the day all he got is himself too. So I got your back, dog. You got my back. If we get kicked out this house, we getting kicked out together. Niggas will pack the dog up and blow it. I'm taking my goddamn dog, though. This nigga know how I feel. That's why we call our friends our dog. These is facts. But, man, it, it is okay to know. Uh, look, shit, don't take my word for it. Let me ask the men in here. Hey, men, do you guys think that you are on your own? Do you think someone's coming to save you if you run into some kind of problem? Or do you know if you fuck up, it's over? Do, do y'all know that? How many posts have y'all seen from women saying that we don't want homeless niggas, we don't want niggas with no jobs, we don't want niggas with this. He could be in between a fucking job. They don't care, nigga. If you ain't working right now, they don't fucking want you. You are on your own. If she ain't working right now, we don't give a fuck. We don't care. If my girl had a job when I met her, she was about to quit that shit. I don't even like my girl working. Who the fuck gonna raise the damn children? But... You guys got to know the truth. It's over. You know it. You know it. And it's cool to know it. You know it. Grandpa knew it too. That's why Grandpa stayed at work at the goddamn plant for 60 years straight. Because he knew, unless he already found another job, not to leave that one. Because you about to lose everything with that job. Hell no. Ain't nobody coming to help me if I'm down and out. And Justin, you already know you can reach out to me if you down and out. But still, you know. First off... A man's ego isn't even going to allow him to call another man to act for that kind of help. Your initial thought is let me try to solve this problem by myself. What's up, sis? A man's initial thought is how can I solve this problem by myself? This is from, th uh, this is something else people don't factor in. This is from millions and millions and millions and hundreds of thousands of years of men having to conduct themselves like this. If you are a man and you are out in the wild by yourself, do y'all see what happens to male lions after they get big enough? They get kicked out the goddamn pride and they are on their fucking own. They wind up having to team up with a brother or, or, or another guy that they run into, but they already know I'm on my own. I need to obtain the skills necessary to maintain myself on my own. Facts. Remember, guys, if you do not work and you can't take care of your child, you are going to prison. If she don't work and she can't take care of her child, she is fine. They got 15 programs for her. There's no programs for you but prison. ASAT. ART. KSAT. Hale Creek. Hudson. That's the programs they got for you if you can't pay for your goddamn children. You're on your own. You're on your own. If you had to wait for a DNA test and you get it and your child support is backed up and they taking all of your money and you can't afford to live nowhere, ain't nobody coming to fucking help you. She will never have to deal with that. Ever. Ever. They're going to give her the kid whether she's the most unfit mother on planet Earth or not. Y'all know it's true. Y'all know it's true. Men be out here proving it be 90 niggas around these kids, house fucked up, bed fucked up, kid come with the snotty nose all the time, take that shit to court and they say, man, fuck you, that baby staying with her, pay her, go to jail. If that ain't on your own, I don't know what the fuck is. I don't know what is. If you're homeless, you're a bum. If she's homeless... Her mama would take her back. Her daddy would take her back. Auntie would let her live with her. Her homegirls would let her live with her. There's a million different outlets for women if they fuck up. There's no outlet for you if you fuck up, bro. You're done. You are finito. You can't, you can't put a nice dress on, take a picture, and have a nigga come save you. Have a girl come save you. It's not happening. She could wear the right dress at the right time, post the right picture, and have a nigga come and save her. 
Ain't nobody coming to save you. Ain't that, there's no help. You're done. You'll move in and help her take care of her, chi her children and foot that bill. She is not about to foot your child support payments. Facts. You will move in and foot the bill of her children. She is not about to foot the bill of your child support payments. You're on your own with that. If, if you come into a relationship and she got debt, as a man, you're probably going to be paying for some of that. If uh, you have some debt when you come into the relationship, you are on your fucking own. I'm not lying about this shit. I might be saying it like it's a bad thing. I, I, I don't think women instinctually think about the problems that men have. You could never know the feeling that men have. You're not full of testosterone. You don't, you don't have the ego we have. You don't. Just like I couldn't tell a woman how she's feeling. As soon as I hear I feel like I clock out. I have no idea what she's talking about the second I hear well I feel like I'm done. Somebody made a post earlier was like you can't vent to your guy friends. Their first thought is to solve the problem. Your first thought is to solve the problem. That's because men have a very short intention span because they got shit that they need to do because if they don't do the shit necessary for them they're fucked. Again, men, there's there's no ass pictures for you to post to have a nigga come and save you. She could post her ass cheeks, money coming to her cash app immediately. It's girls who've been living off that shit for the last four, five years. Only fans wasn't made for niggas. Ain't no nigga getting saved. You can't you 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 could be a handsome man, six pack abs, everything. That girl ain't DMing you because she wants to take care of you. She DMing you because she wants you to take care of her. Let me repeat that. That girl's not DMing you because she wants to take care of you. She's DMing you because she wants you to take care of her. But who gonna take care of you? Nigga, you. Her money is her money and my money is her money. Where does that say support system? And, and all men know that's how it is. You're always gonna get the one person that's like, well, I'm different. I'll do this and I'll do that. We know for the most part. Her money is her money and my money is her money. And if it ain't like that, she's usually going to try to find a nigga where her money is her money and his money is her money. How many dudes get left for not making enough? How, how much, what is the level of disrespect you men have seen when a girl out earns her man? And when that man gets kicked to the curb, he done built his whole life inside of there. He done left his crib, moved in with her to help her out with what she's got going on, took over the bills, took over the kids, took over the payments, paid her phone bills, paid the car insurance, did all of this. She gets attitude with you one day. You got to get the fuck out. Where are you going? Hopefully you got money for a hotel because ain't nobody about to take you in. If she got kicked out, she, she still got the key to her mama's house, still got a room there. Still got a room there. The kids was already there. Yeah, the, the, the kids was already there. You, you guys got to realize this. That way, if you lose a job, you know, don't play no games, bro. You need to be on ass with them applications this week. On ass because no one's coming to save you. And if you got children of child support payments, don't give a fuck that you just lost that job. It's going to be three months before you can even get into the court system to let them know that you lost that job. Them payments are still adding up. You catch a bid, you could be in fucking prison. And your child support is still going. You come home $30,000 in debt. You think a girl about to pay that off? Now how many guys have paid off college tuitions for women? How many women have paid off child support for guys? No one. You got yourself, my nigga. Embrace it. Live in it. Uh, use it to your advantage when you know you got yourself. Them kind of men move different. They ain't got time for none of the bullshit. They ain't going out to no club that's risking them being shot. They know that they all they got. If they get injured and they lose their goddamn job, ain't nobody about to come take care of them. Ain't nobody gonna help them get their food while they laid up in bed. Ain't nobody about to do none of that. The men who know that they're all that they have, they move different, my nigga. And I know because I'm one of them. I ain't got time to fuck around. I do not have time to fuck around. My girl met me my first day home from prison going to work. I've been home two hours. I had a job already. I'm going to repeat that. My, I've met my wife on my way to work my first day home from prison. 
I wasn't playing no fucking games. I wasn't playing no game. And I had the za already. I was home four hours. I ain't playing with these niggas. When you sleep, I work because I ain't playing with you. You think that somebody going to come and save you if you fuck up. I know ain't nobody coming to save me if I fuck up. So I don't play no games. I don't play no games. I'm doing 15 to 16 different things a day to be able to try to keep this income coming so I can keep the respect for my woman and the rest of my family. Because if I start making less money or I'm making no money and my wife has to foot the stress of the household, that shit's going to play wear and tear on my motherfucking ego. If my ego starts getting wear and tear and the children start to see daddy getting weak, the children will take over the goddamn household. All of this revolves around the fact that I didn't take life serious because I thought that I had a safety net. That's dumb. When you know, you know better. You know better than that. If you become homeless, you get a tent on the street. If she becomes mm -hmm. homeless, it's 19 shelters in every local city for her. On top of a bunch of niggas that'll take her in. On top of her still being attached to the family. For some reason, men get ostracized from the family the second we go make another family. Nobody in the family wants the man back after he went and made a family. Am I lying? After you go get a wife and have kids and you've been out the household for a while and you've been living with her, if you and her fall on hard times, I really pray that you niggas got, uh, got hotel money. Um, I pray that y'all keep money for a deposit on a, uh, crib, uh, and be able to afford that down payment because ain't nobody about to take you in. Where you gonna go to your homie's crib and he got a wife and she gonna be complaining about? Bruh. You gotta make it happen. Cause you all you got. You are all you got. If you leave her, she's fine. Her family still got her there. They live in Disney World. Women don't get to realize how much of a Disney fantasy world that they fucking live in until men start talking and they can't believe it and go into shock and be like, ain't no way that it's like that. I care about men. I care about this. Uh, well, what about me? I can't. No, the fuck you don't. If you had a nigga vitting to you every day, you'd be through with that nigga. You call them weak. You be making Facebook posts about them. You be making memes about them. You be in your group chat talking to your girls about them. Yeah, I admitted it when I posted it. Cry in front of your girl if you want to and see if she don't laugh with her friends about that shit. Do you know how many girls came in and was like, this nigga ain't lying. This nigga ain't lying. Cry in front of her if you want to. Vent to her all the time if you want to. And see if she ain't in the background telling her, her parents and her friends how much you be bitching and complaining. And she don't know if she want to stay with you. And uh, you, you, you're starting to get weak. This ain't the man that I wanted to be with. You start hearing all that shit. This ain't the man that I chose. You fall on hard times. This ain't the man I chose. She fall on hard times. She, she's still the woman you chose. Facts. You slack on anything you doing. Your ass is grass. She slack on anything she doing, huh? Men just pick up the slack. Men just pick up the slack. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. You are all you got, bro. And it's okay. Don't be a bitch. You, you, you see it? You see it? Unless you nervous about a raise that you getting ready to get that's getting ready to change her life. Unless you nervous about moving to another city where the, where the job is going to be bigger. Unless you're nervous about something that is an upgrade. Then, then, then trust me, you in a bad situation if she sees you nervous. She will question your loyalty. She will question your leadership. I don't give a fuck what anyone got to say. There's always going to be that one person that says, I'm not like that. But they don't be with no men. But um, yeah, you guys know. Y'all know better than this. Some of you niggas have been left because you lost a job. Don't lie. Some of, and it hurts. And it hurts. Like, God damn, I done took care of you all this time. I lose this one job, fall on these hard times one time, and you just gonna get rid of me? Are you gonna cheat on me? Are you gonna choose this nigga? Simply because I fell one time? Yeah, bro, because you all you got. And if she kick you out, I don't know what the fuck you gonna do. You gonna be sleeping from couch to couch every single day. She not going through that. She still got a room at mama's house, I guarantee you. Or auntie gonna take her in, or her homegirl gonna take her in. That's how the homegirls usually wind up fucking the baby daddy because they wind up living with their homegirl when they get kicked out because they got somewhere to go. You don't have nowhere to go. You will be in a tent on the street, my nigga. You lose that job, your child support payments ain't stopping, my nigga. They not stopping. She don't have to worry about that. She lose her job. There's 15 programs that'll help pick her back up. They will pay for her rent. They will give her extra food stamps. They'll give uh, insurance for the kids. All on the back of you. 
Now, what program is going to help the fact that these bills is piling up on you? Nothing. Nothing. That That's what. You get taken for DNA six years later, nigga, and they add that child support up and hit you with 40000 at once, and you already in arrears, and they start taking 90% of your check. Ain't nobody coming to help you with that. Name one girl you gonna meet, and all of a sudden she's gonna help start paying your child support payments. But you'll pay for her kids, you will pay her bills, you'll pay to get her hair done, you'll pay to get her nails done, you'll get her clothes, you'll get everybody clothes. You'll take care of that whole goddamn household. She ain't about to help you with no child support payments, my nigga. You're on your own with that. You're on your own with that. 100%. Embrace it, though, my nigga. That, it, it makes you work harder. It makes you strive for more. It makes you strive for more. But we'll be back. Y'all know the truth. I want men to embrace the fact that you are all you got. Work like you all you got. Treat that job like it's the last job you'll ever have. Work on that, that, that skill, that craft, like it's the last thing you'll ever be able to touch. Wake up every day with a drive that no one else is going to be able to compete with. That's how you become competitive. That's how you get to a point where it doesn't even matter if you're by yourself. You're mentally stable. You're physically stable. You're financially stable. You, uh, these are the mentally healthy guys. You guys know how they say men's mental health is real. The mental health that you need as a man is I will not lose. I will not lose. Nobody at this job is about to do this job better than me. If we on this motherfucking grill, ain't nobody about to make no steak better than me. The burgers that come out when Lowski's on shift, ain't nobody making burgers like that. The boxes that get boxed up on this goddamn conveyor belt, y'all know when Lowski here. You can tell I made them damn boxes. You see my YouTube channel, you know that's my YouTube channel. I did that shit. That shit got Lowski written all over it. Look at the edits, look at the cuts, look at the 4K videos, look at the drone shots. Look, you, you can tell I did that. Ain't nobody about to outwork me. As soon as you start thinking like that, life just skyrockets. Life skyrockets. Ain't nobody about to beat you. Who? You forgot who your mama is? You forgot who your daddy is? You forgot who your grandparents was? The ones who made it through the Great Depression? The ones who had to deal with famine? The ones who that had to live through bombs? Some of y'all come from Germany and all sorts of other places. Y'all know what the fuck y'all family went through for you to be here to start complaining and to not know that you are all you got. Stop that. Stop that. You disrespectful. Harriet Tubman would have clapped a couple of you niggas. Y'all got to get it together. You should know better than that. Some of you niggas lost your job two months ago. You still depressed instead of getting up and fucking doing something about it. That's not going to save you. That's not going to save you. Complaining about what? Call somebody. Go do therapy. Go talk to grandpa. Go talk to the drunk nigga standing in front of the store. And don't be mad at what he tells you. If he tells you you acting like a bitch, chances are you acting like a bitch. Go talk to some of the guys who's been through worse situations and ask them how they got through it. And if they say you acting like a bitch, you acting like a bitch. Toughen up. Chin up. Chest out, my nigga. You need to move like a soldier. Don't no girl care about the nigga who gave up halfway when the soldiers was trying to get away. They want the nigga who got shot 96 times, made it to the finish line, then died. He carried the whole goddamn team, shot 96 times. He ain't even worry about himself. He wanted to make sure everybody else was good. That's what they want. The only way you could do that is to know ain't nobody coming to save me. I got to make sure we all good. And if you got a circle of niggas who think I got to make sure we all good, you niggas is undefeatable. Undefeatable. But you got to have a hunger. You can't be hungry if you got a safety net. Cut that shit. Even if you got a safety net. Even if mama keeps saying you could come back if you fall on hard times. Ignore that shit. Act like it's not there. You'll work ten times harder. If you think that there's another job behind the job you got right now, you won't give a fuck about the job you got right now because you think it's another one. You won't take the girl serious you got right now if you got ten other girls you're taking serious right now. Facts. You have to live life as if this is the only thing I got. And if you a man, that's a fact that this is the only thing that you got. You need to be hungry, my nigga. You need to be hungry. The reason girls don't like you is because they don't see no hunger. They don't see no drive. When they wake up in the morning, you need to already be up doing your motherfucking push-ups. If you ain't got the drive to do the push-ups by your goddamn self, go get your cousin. Go get your son. Go get your nephew. Do these push-ups with me. I want a hundred a night. That's the kind of drive, the kind of hunger you got to have. You only have that if you know you ain't got no safety net, though. Always think if you lose your job, you might lose that woman. You'll, 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 you'll talk to your boss differently. You'll take orders differently. 
That's what's wrong with some of you niggas. Some of y'all have never had to take orders from a man in your fucking life. It's been mama, grandmama, auntie and them, the teachers, your older sisters. It's been nothing but women telling you everything. So the second that a man tell you acting like a bitch, chin up, chest out, you want to kill me. You want to shoot me. You all up in your feelings. You feeling some kind of way when I'm just trying to get you on the right track, my nigga. You know why girls keep leaving you? Because you weak. They don't know how to say it. They just say it didn't work. We weren't compatible. You was weak. Don't no girl leave the superhero. Mary Jane ain't leaving Spider-Man. Are you crazy? That means you stopped being a superhero at some point. That means you stopped being Superman and you went back and tried to beat Clark Kent. Nigga, you Superman. Did you forget? Do I need to put the box back in front of you so you could go put your suit back on? Um, Do I need to reenact a, a scene of you kicking some ass? Do I need to remind you that you've already been through worse? Don't live in there, my nigga. If you are a man, get out your fucking feelings. Ain't no money in there. Ain't no money in there, bro. Stay out your feelings. That's, that's broke nigga shit. Y'all like the bag, right? Y'all want the clothes? Y'all like Lamborghinis? Y'all like Bugattis? Y'all like Dior? Y'all like expensive cologne? Y'all like nice watches? You like to take your girl on nice dates? You like to be able to dress her the way you want to? You want to be able to homeschool your kids or afford the best school that you can do? You can't have that if you don't think that you are all you have. And you got to carry the family with you. Then some of you niggas is out here making families. But y'all ain't ready to carry the goddamn family by yourself. You guys see the statue they just put up at Africa of the father lifting the mother and the children up while he stays behind? You know why? Because if the father falls, he's fucked. If the, if the wife and kids fall, I got them. That lets you know that men are on their own. And Africans haven't been indoctrinated with none of this Western bullshit. They know the truth about men. The statue is of a man. There's nobody behind this nigga. There's no, if he slip and fall, he's fucked. If they slip and fall, he got him. That's how all men are. You're supposed to hold the family up. And if something happened to you, nigga, you threw. So you take, you take great steps. You map this shit out properly. You make sure everything is tested, tried and true. And you move forward. You don't second guess yourself. You be decisive. If I want this job, what's stopping me from getting this job? I will harass these niggas for 97 days straight to get this motherfucking job. And in the meantime, I don't care if I got to flip fries at McDonald's. I will have an income. I will have an income. And it's too much out here for y'all to not have an income. Stop slipping and falling. And if you slip and fall, nigga, reach out to somebody and get back up. No soldier gets left behind. But I don't like seeing you niggas depressed. I don't like seeing y'all talk about deleting yourselves. I don't like seeing y'all like this. And I know the only reason you thinking like that is because you think it's over for you. You, you. you ain't even tapping into who you was yet. You ain't even trying. You're not even trying. Until you've exhausted. I heard, uh, heard Andrew Tate say something that was very great. He said, if you're a man and you're thinking about deleting yourself, get a six pack first. And if you still think about it afterwards, I ain't going to tell you to do it, but I ain't going to argue with you to not do it. But get a six pack first. After you earn that six pack, then you could go ahead and think about deleting yourself. What man gets in great shape and then wants to delete himself? What man gets a great job and then wants to delete himself? What man is in great position and is depressed? What man is taking steps in the right di direction and is depressed? None of them. It's all the guys who are failing at life. And the reason you're failing is because you think you can't. You think it's a nigga better than you. Go tell your mama right now and your daddy that you think somebody's better than you and see their reaction. Like, I made this? I'm, you gonna be that disrespectful? Like... Your, your parents will look at you like, I made you? And you giving up already? You know what we had to go through when we had you? If we could make it, nigga, what's your excuse? And if you're a man, it's a hundred times worse. They let girls down easy. They let men hit rock bottom. You will hit rock bottom. Tent on the street. Skid Row, California. Sleeping in Washington Park. That'll be you. Getting ran off by the police every morning. Niggas walking their dogs past you in the morning. That'll be you. If you don't take shit serious. So this is why I tell men. That you are all you have. This is why I tell men. That nobody gives a fuck about what you're going through. Because truth is. Y'all know that don't nobody give a fuck about what you're going through. 
You know that if you fall behind on child support payment, your ass going to prison. Years out of your life, next to niggas who got life. You can lose your life. She's never going to have to go through that because 9 out of 10 chance she's not even paying child support. This is why when I talk to men, I don't expect women to get in there and get in their fucking feelings because you don't understand what we're going through. You live a whole different fucking world. You know when your baby's born, you can get snap wick, benefits, all sorts of shit. What a man is thinking is I got to afford to be able to buy formula every day. I got to make sure that I can get these clothes. I got to make sure that I can still maintain her afterwards. My mama's sick. I got to make sure that I can deal with her. My little sister fucked up and running the streets. I got to make sure I can do. And all of this you have to handle on your own every day mentally as a man. But turn that brain of yours into a honeycomb. Put everything in its own compartment and tackle them one by one. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. That's all you need is niggas to be able to tell you how to deal with it. How to map it out. Call a nigga who could be an architect for you. Map this shit out. Okay, what's problem number one? Okay, solve. Next. Let's go. Problem number two solved. Okay, let's go. By the time you get to problem number three, you'll never need a nigga help again. Never. At that point, you'll be helping the next generation. And that's why our community's fucked up. Because it ain't no men passing on no good information. Because all you niggas is sad. Because some girl told you that it's okay to be that way. Some girl told you it's okay to be in your feelings. Because it's okay for her to be in her feelings. It's not okay for you to be in yours because there's no safety net behind yours. There's a safety net behind hers. She could get emotional and get rid of you. They got housing projects for her. You get emotional and she get rid of you. There's no housing project for you. You'll be sleeping on the grass behind the housing projects. Facts. So stay strong, my nigga. Fight hard, my nigga. Work hard. Don't let nobody outwork you. When they sleep, work. When they eat, work. When they chasing bitches, work. When you got an idea, work. I got the one, two, three rule. As soon as I think about an idea, I go one, two, three. And then I get up and fucking do it. That's how you got to be. Then you'll start being okay with being by yourself. Then you'll start being okay with not having nobody because you won't even need them anyway. You won't need them any fucking way. Oh, y'all think y'all need some special kind of help. All you got to do is wake up the inner you. I don't even know how you let the nigga go to sleep. Remember when you used to play sports? You was playing basketball and you knew it was about to be game and you put that last little bit of drive you had left into that. Live every day like that. You know when y'all down by one and you see her opening up the court and you niggas is running up and you mad. You, you need to be like that every day. Every day. You all you got. Love it. Live in it. I'll make sure that I put this one on YouTube too. YouTube low key low ski. We got a bunch of other talks on there. Reaction channel. I'll be through to talk to y'all on the regular. I know they think I'm negative. I know they think I'm negative. They always say I'm negative towards the guys. But when the guys hear this, the guys don't register this as negativity. They say this nigga's spitting. I needed to hear that. You know what? I've been slacking lately. You know what? I did see a car that my wife wanted. I should have been working towards that. You know, I do owe her that ring by now. It's been five years I've been with this girl. I do owe her that ring by now. But th this wakes men up. Like the way you talk to women and the way you talk to men have to be completely fucking different. Men love boot camp. That's what men love. Boot camp, soldier attention. Men love that shit. That shit wakes up the inner man in them. You can't talk softly to men. You can't coddle men. You get Chirac, you get Brooklyn, you get Florida. That's what happens when you when, when you just hold men for a little bit too long. Them niggas need the truth. And they need it direct. And then afterwards, they need the solutions. And I think that I did that today. And I hope I did that. And I hope I motivated you niggas to get up off your ass and go chase that goddamn dream. Make sure that you share this video. Always keep people involved. Low-key, low-ski. Over and out. Peace.